What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another awesome review episode of FTN Transformers on YouTube. I'm your host for Mondays, Michael, and it's actually still Monday. Actually, by the time this uploads, it'll probably be like Tuesday morning because it is. Oh, my watch is broken. Ugh. It's currently um 22:51, so I only have an hour left. It's probably gonna take me like five, ten minutes to edit it, and then my internet is so slow. Ugh. So whatever. I recorded on a Monday, so whatever. This week's topic is very exciting. It's packers. And um, so, first question is, do we pack? Oh, I pack. I started packing when, it was always just something that I started doing when I was younger, just like, you know, with, with socks or whatever, or other, you know, small articles of clothing that could be rolled into, like, a dick form. Um, mostly socks. And I had, like, a really good sock thing going. I had, like... I don't have it now, obviously, it's at my old house, but, um, it was, like, two socks, and one was, like, folded in itself, but then the other one was, like, folded in and around it, plus inside of another one, so it looked like two separate things, but it was, like, it looked really good, I was like, ah, but, um, obviously that doesn't feel realistic at all under <laughs> underwear or pants or whatever, because it's just... It's like padding, really. It's what that's what it feels like. But like, if the only thing you're going for is the look, like socks are definitely something. If that's really all you're doing is for looks, um, and they're not really good for more than like walking around, because socks will really fall out of your pants or your underwear or whatever. And oh my God, it's the worst thing. Like <laughs> when you know that um, your dick is not secured in some way or not secured enough, and you just slowly feel it like falling, and you're just like, ah, my dick is falling out. And you're just like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Sorry, goodbye. <laughs> you're just, like holding your leg. You're like, oh God, no. Everyone's like, the hell are you doing? What's wrong with you, right? But anyway, yeah, I like packing. I think it makes me feel, um, like when I was younger, I did it because I was really dysphoric. Um, but then after, um, as I got older and I wasn't as dysphoric and stuff, um, I just felt, felt good, you know? And I always, um, when I was younger, I always imagined, like, oh, what would it be like to have a penis and stuff? And, you know, my greatest thing was, like, being able to masturbate or play with myself or whatever, which couldn't do without a penis. And so, those were fun. But, uh, you know, I couldn't really do that. There's not really a way to do that anyway. Um, where'd it go? This always happens. Packers always disappear. I found it. Okay, so, um, this is my first Packer that I got. This is a Luna. Hi. Hi, YouTube. This is my first packer that I got. Um, I was... How old was I when I got this? I think I was a senior in high school. Yeah, I was. And I got my friend, like, to... Or I bought it on the internet, and then my I sent it to my friend's house. And he brought it to school, and everyone was like... Oh, well, not everyone, just him. Um, but uh, I, I felt really happy when I got it. Um, I had, like, pretty low expectations, but, um, it's called the Masho, and it's the one that's, um, it's, like, very small, like, if you want to start out small, like, this is the one you want to get, um, it's made in Japan, and so they're, like, you know, statistically accurate, or what, statistics, <laughs> statistically, uh, statistically, um, you know, Japanese men have smaller penises on average, and so, the Japanese companies make their packers really small, or, you know, kind of, you know, whatever, the average size or whatever. So, um, this is it. See how small it is? It doesn't look that small right now, but, like, when I show you this other one, <laughs> it's much, <laughs> shut up, it's much smaller. But, um, this is really good. Like, it has, it has, like, a good head and stuff on it. It had, like, a lot of detail. I was really surprised. Like, it was really good. And, like, the balls and stuff. And it's, like, the only one, like, on the market that has, like, round ones. You can tell, like, right here. Usually it would be, like, completely flat, like, like, right here. They'd be flat. But, um, these ones are slightly rounded. And, um, it's still pretty squishy. Pretty elongated. Whoop! That's about as long as it can go. About, yeah, about that long. 
Oh, but it pretty much bounces back. Um, it doesn't stick to anything, much like I know I've never had like a Mr. Limpy or a Mr. Softy or whatever, but apparently those ones you can just be like, and they'll stick to your hand, and you're just like, oh. But no, this one didn't stick at all unless it was wet or something, you know. Um, but yeah, it has like a lots of details and veins and stuff on it. So as my first one, I was like really happy, really excited for it. Um, and so I wore it every day, and I didn't, I don't, I still don't have a harness, so I used to just, um, have, like, all my underwear from before I started having boxers, you know, I started, um, I would put little holes in them, like, cut little holes in them for, um, just, like, to put it th through, like, so, and then I would wear boxers over that, so I'd wear underwear, and I'd put this through it, boop, and then I'd wear boxers, and it was pretty good, especially if it was, like, tighter underwear, but then, um, like, you know, the more I wore it, since it was just, like, literally, like, I punctured a hole through it, uh, the underwear or whatever, uh, the holes would, uh, you know, get bigger as they, like, got washed or whatever, so, it kind of got, like, <laughs> bad, because then the hole would be bigger, so then it would, like, come over here, and it would start, like, moving forward, like, like, if this is my body, it would be, like, whoop, and then <laughs> it would seem more like a boner or whatever, but before that happened so it was pretty good before that so like if you have a harness or something like it'd be really good um, but anyway I recently got um this new packer and it is very amazing I am really I really like it um I got the packet by Doc Johnson from Amazon. I got it for like $15 versus the like $25 or $30 that it is online and on other stores. And I'm very, very, very happy. Um, it was a major upgrade from this little mash show, which you'll see in a second, but oh my god. Ready to have your mind blown. So this is the mash show. And this is the Doc Johnson Packet Brown Heavy. Yeah, that's really big difference. Like, <laughs> really. Um, yeah, so the balls are definitely lower. Like I said here, like it's flat. This one isn't flat, see? So like that helps it have more like realism because balls are round and stuff. Um, but I think the flat is good. Cause then it helps it just um, be closer to your body and stuff. And I really liked I really like this thing because it really like stays down. Like this one, the masho is made specifically just like to stay in this same position. Although it's because of the way I wore it, it ended up like cutting right here through the because the underwear and stuff cutting through it slowly. Like look at that. It used to be it used to be like this, and then it got cut through that much. Um, but yeah, it's meant to stay like this, right? And then, so this packer is meant to stay like this, too. But, um, yeah. But this is so good. Like, oh my god, the detail on this thing, like, it has, like, this big vein on the top, and then it has, like, the, the vein thing on the bottom. It has a good head thing, circumcision thing, lines and stuff, little indent right there. Um, the light is kind of funny. But I hope you can see, like, how much work was gone into this, like, oh my gosh. Like, there's so many, just so many little imperfections that are so natural, like, no, on purpose imperfections. And then, um, the balls are kind of weird because they have, like, a weird texture to them. But they're, I can see where they were going. Like, they were trying to imitate how, like, testicle, like, the sack or whatever has, like, lines, kind of ridgy things on the outside. And so on this one... It has like little textured lines and stuff going across that way and so but I really like it it's really good and it <laughs> has like Doc Johnson imprinted right there like branded like my dicks branded owned by Doc Doc Johnson but um yeah I really like it it really works really well and um I found out a way to make it not look like a boner in my pants um and for a guy who's 5'1 you know it's kind of kind of a bigger one. I know they do have a Doc Johnson light, which I think is like, this is five and a half inches. So I think the Doc Johnson light is like five inches. So it's probably just like a head shorter. So it's probably just like, 
I can't even like push it down. Um, it's not that stretchy. It's like this, so it's more realistic. It's like more. Um, you can't like squeeze all the way through it, so it's like it feels really natural. Like um, if someone just grabs it or whatever. Um, my boyfriend, he ex he commented that it was like like you're thinking about something that's like really erotic or something but you're not really hard like you know like it's just starting to happen so I was like cool okay yeah why not I'm a very like you know provocative person whatever so it's fine and um it feels very realistic under underwear and stuff like that so it's really good yeah so that's my packing experience um the next packer that I'm probably gonna get will be like probably like a couple months or whatever um I'll want to get the real magic um Packers, they're really good, but of course they're like really expensive. But they're they're also prosthetics, so it's like you put like um, medical adhesive to you, and it like sticks there, and they come with like hair and stuff, so it looks like really natural, and they have like a whole bunch of different tone sheets and stuff like that. So that would that's that would be my next step. I think that this was a very good um, step up, um, like for me personally. But like you know, if you're like I said earlier, if you're the kind of guy who doesn't want like such a big presence in his pants, like, can get the light one, and it's, like, like I said, it's an inch lesser, or half an inch lesser, or something, and then the circumference, like, the circumference right now is, like, like this, the circumference of the light one is, like, this or something, you know, so it's significantly less, so it's smaller, um, but like I said, you can look that up on Amazon, Doc Johnson, I'll put the link in the, in the subscription, subscription thing, <laughs> in the description, so, um, yeah, that's all I got for this week. I hope you enjoyed seeing my dick, so nothing to hide anymore, I guess. Um, but yeah, and so I will see you guys next week. We still have an opening for Wednesday. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share, or submit your audition videos and everything like that. Tell your friends, etc. Like our Facebook page, all that other stuff. We'll like or subscribe to you back on other things like Tumblr and stuff. Oh, snap, I have to check our Tumblr. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's all I got for this week, and I have awesome hair, and I will see you guys next week. Stay beautiful.